asking you to be able to see this video of Coach McDaniel calling you mm. and, and talking to you about what he expects and how he's looking forward to coaching you. Mm. And I'm just wondering what you're thinking on the other end of that call, because we haven't seen that. Well, I thought it was cool with the things he was saying, yeah. uh, things we could accomplish when, when he got here with the offense and um, he wanted to show me some things. But for me, it, it was more, more of, oh, cool, cool. Like, don't don't tell me like mm -hmm. show me like mm -hmm. let's you know I, I think that's what this whole organization is is based off of you mm -hmm. know where we're tired of hearing you know mm -hmm. where we're tired of rebuilding we're yeah. tired of doing this tired of doing that like we want to do it mm -hmm. um, and I, I would say that was kind of the the things going on in my head throughout our conversation but I was excited um, I didn't know that that was his personality always, <laughs> so that was new for me. You know, I, I was kind of given some leeway as to, oh, you know, this is how he is right now, but, mm -hmm. you know, let's just see how this plays out. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's really cool that, you know, he, he never changed uh, throughout the process, going through OTAs, going through training camp. And then up to this point, you know, we've lost a couple games. We got to see how he reacted to those in our team meetings. Mm -hmm same guy yeah um, and I think that was super cool to see mm -hmm. and you know there's there's not any guy on our team that has um, you know no trust or no faith in this guy you know I, I would say we're all behind him mm -hmm. it's interesting you said that's something that you're not used to okay so compare his personality then to what you're used to in a football coach than having a football coach yeah I'm I'm used to somebody really getting down on me uh -huh. um, because that's kind of the way my, my dad coached me, um, was what he would call tough love. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had that with uh, Coach Saban. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had that with uh, Flo last year. You know, so my perception on what a head coach should be mm -hmm. was, was always, oh, you know, hard, tough, like you gotta really work hard um, in order to find success. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's pretty cool um, that there's other ways uh, you can find success and yeah. it's not always you know getting down on somebody um, you know this guy's philosophy with I think mm -hmm. his philosophy is with how he coaches is everyone wants to do good you know there's there's not one guy in the locker room or in this team meeting that is trying to do something bad so when they do make a mistake it's not a call out but it's really just a learning point for everyone to listen that hey this guy didn't mean to do that but if you don't do the things that we work on in practice and that happens this is the result of that mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that's that's super cool um, mm -hmm. that we see that and it's not a beat down yeah. of, of uh, you know plays that you've done wrong and it doesn't kill the confidence of guys but it you know it's really like oh that does make sense as to why he's saying that yeah. you know let me let me do it uh, this upcoming practice mm -hmm. you know um, and, and see that it really works.